Luminous TV, Rianne versus Tim challenge. You can do this in your youth group, Rianne. What's our first challenge? Skills challenge, separate all the colors using a fork or if you're feeling creative, chopsticks. Three, two, one, go. First note for the dentist. What? I thought you were using the app. What is this? So good. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I don't want to copy you because I don't want to be called a cheater. But I Unlimited power. One nil. Hello and welcome to another season of Limitless TV. I'm Rianne. I'm Tim. And this season is called Transform. Transformed lives, transforming lives. Here's the idea. We are all being formed. We don't have to do anything to embrace formation. We've just got to get up in the morning. So when we scroll through our social feeds, we are being formed. When we watch a show on Netflix, we are being formed. When we sit down in our classrooms, we are being formed. So the question then is not, am I being formed, but who or what am I being formed by? Jesus said the student is not of the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. That means that the goal of spiritual formation is to become like Jesus, yeah. to act like him, to think like him, to align our priorities with him, to believe what he believes, to forgive like he forgives, and to love like he loves. Yeah. The goal of discipleship to Jesus is to be formed into his likeness. And that's why in this series of Limitless TV, we're going to be working through a transformation pathway to help us be formed into Christ's likeness so that we can step into the abundant life that he offers and invite others to do the same. In this series, we're going to learn together how to be transformed lives, transforming lives. So here are our group discussion questions. Which celebrity do you think you are most like and why? Jesus said the student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. In what ways do you think we should be seeking to become like Jesus? What are some of the things that you think form who we become? In the Bible, a church planter by the name of Paul wrote a letter to a church in Rome. In this letter, he wrote these words, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, that's right. So Paul points out that we're all being formed in one way or another. The question is, will we be conformed to the pattern of this world or will we be transformed into the likeness of Christ? It's a huge question, but how do we know the answer? Well, Jesus gives us a huge clue. He tells us that your eye is the lamp of your body. And when your eyes are healthy, the whole body is also full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body is also full of darkness. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus is teaching us that we are formed by that which we give our attention to, that which we take in through our eyes. So when we scroll through our social feeds, it is an act of spiritual formation. We are being formed. When we watch a show on Netflix, we're being formed. What we read, watch, look at, click on and scroll through, everything that we take in is shaping our minds. It's forming us in one way or another. In other words, Rianne, we become what we contemplate. And actually, this formation of the mind isn't only a biblical reality, it's a neurological one. What we give our attention to is quite literally forming our brains, it's forming our minds. Did you know that when we return consistently to a pattern of thought or persistent behavior, the neural pathways in our brains 
that automate those thoughts and behaviors are strengthened. And so what happens is as a thought or a behavior is repeated, myelin, which is the fatty substance in our brains that strengthens our neural connections, it gets wrapped around that pathway, making it more rapid, more instinctive and more automatic. And thus, our behaviors are formed quite literally in our minds. So I guess the critical question is then, what are the things that we are repeatedly taking in that are strengthening our neural pathways, shaping our minds and forming our identity? Well, unfortunately, Rianne, it's not biblical truth. In fact, according to a global study by One Hope, only 11% of Christian young people read the Bible daily. In stark contrast to that, however, 92% of young people use social media every single day. According to another study, the average Christian millennial consumes over 3,000 hours of digital content a year, but only 150 of those hours are Christian in nature. That is a ratio of 20 to 1. This is a huge challenge for us then as followers of Jesus because as we've seen from both scripture and from neuroscience, we will eventually conform to that which we contemplate. Yeah. So our minds are being formed by the narratives of the media upon which we meditate. Yeah. So the problem then of course is that the media we are consuming is not exactly reinforcing the life in the way of Jesus. <laughs> no, it, it, it's not. Which is why spiritual formation is such a huge challenge for us in the digital age because our devices have become like an IV drip into our minds for the secular worldview, reinforcing lies in our minds, lies about how to live an abundant life, lies about how to be free, lies about how to be fulfilled over and over and over again. And so if our consumption ratio of secular ideas to Jesus truth is 20 to one, then we will be conformed to the pattern of this world and not transformed by the renewing of our mind. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we've got a challenge for you yes, we that do. we think can really help. But first, it's over to you. How do you think we can make sure that we are not being conformed to the patterns of this world, but rather being transformed by the renewing of our minds? Enjoy your discussion. Jesus said, your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body is also full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body is also full of darkness. What do you think this means? What do you think to the idea that we become what we contemplate? In what ways do the things we watch, read, look at, click on and scroll through shape how we think? The average Christian millennial consumes 20 times more secular content than Christian content. As you think about the content you consume, what do you think that ratio would be for you? What could you change to ensure everything you are consuming is forming you to become more, not less, like Jesus? Welcome back everyone, we hope you had a great discussion. In each episode of this series, we're going to finish with a challenge for you for the week. Mm. Now, it's something that you can apply to your life and that can help you put the teaching into practice. But before we tell you your challenge for this week, a quick recap. We've said that we are shaped by that which we give our attention to. That everything we take in is shaping who we are becoming for better or for worse. Which means that if we want to be transformed to become more like Jesus, which is what this series is all about, then we've got to learn to meditate on the truth of God's word consistently enough to overpower the narratives of the world in which we are being formed. And to that end, we've got a challenge for you. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. <laughs> 
every day this week, spend some time with God alone before you spend any time with your phone. That's right, spend some time with God alone before you spend any time with your phone. You know it's good because it rhymes. And that means every day this week, when you first wake up, rather than reaching for your phone on your bedside table and allowing your mind to be shaped by whatever is on your Instagram feed, pick up your Bible and allow your mind to be shaped by the truth of God's word. Guys, it's a far better way to start your day. So go for it, guys. You can chat about applying that challenge right now with your group. Uh, But for now, we will see you on the next episode of Limitless TV.